Do you want to create an application in Power App which contain a common header and common footer using component and environment variable? Hi, this is Kripali from Knowhow Academy. So let's start with me. So let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, you are going to learn that how you can use environment variable to set the properties of component in Power App. So let me tell you with the real life scenario. So here I have designed one app and in this app, I take one component and in that component, I'm setting this value of a company name or you can say I'm setting the header name of this component using environment variable. Now let me show you uh, environment variable which I have created. Okay, now in this company name property here I use environment variable and using that variable I set the company name. Now you may have a question that why there is a need to use environment variable to set the component property. Now let's say using a component you are displaying the company name. Now the same app you are going to deliver to the other client also by doing only the modification of the company name. Let's say here I'm changing the company name and rest of the things are same. So if you are doing it manually in Power App, you everywhere you need to change the name of the company where you have set the input property of the component. But using the environment variable while you are importing the app, only one time you need to change it and it will automatically change forever in every pages when where you are referring the company name. So how you can do that? To do that in Power App, first of all, you need to create a solution and I have already created one solution in my environment. The name of the solution is demo solution. Now, in that solution, first I'm creating an environment variable. First, you can create app and later on you can create an environment variable. But I know what I need to do. So, I'm creating an environment variable. Okay, and here I'm giving a name of the environment variable is company name. And I'm selecting a data type as a text and default value I'm giving it as a know-how. Know-how. And new value, I'm right now I'm giving it as a know-how, both same value and click on save. So my environment variable is created. Let me take a new canvas app and here I'm giving a canvas app name as a demo app. Demo app and click on create. Okay, now here in component, I'm designing one component. That is common component for uh, setting up the header of the screen. Okay. And here I'm take, taking the value as a hundred height as a hundred and I'm inserting one container inside that and setting the container height and width to the component screen. So I'm not setting height and width manually, but parent height and width I'm setting it. Okay. So parent height, it will adjust according to that and width also it will adjust according to the parent width and here it is slightly outside to the screen so just because i need to set the zero to the x property now my container is set like this now let me add a label inside that and this label i want to put inside uh, at the center of the container okay so it is placed center of the container and text i also align it at the center now, what I need to do, I'm going to create one input property for the component. Okay, so let's say header. Header is an input property I'm creating. You can give any name and its value is data type is text and value I'm giving it as a uh, company name. Company name. Okay, and this value I'm setting it to the text label. So go to the text label and uh, write component one dot header. So whatever value you set into the header property here, it will appear. Okay. So I finished with the designing and let me give the color. 
so I'm giving the color like this. Okay. So I gave the color, save it and let's go to the screen and add this into the main screen. So let me insert uh, component one and here I'm not again setting a width manually but according to parent width I'm setting so I will write a code parent width. It will appear automatically. Now what I want to do, I want to set the environment variable value here in the input property of the component. So how can I do that? So click on the component and remember we have given an uh, input property name as a header and inside that you need to write a lookup code which will look up the value from the environment variable. But before that you need to add that environment variable in your data section. So here environment variable values you need to edit once it is added click on that component click on the input property which you have created so i have created an input property header and here you need to write a uh, lookup then you need to write environment variable values then comma environment variable definition then you need to write a display name equal to the name of the variable which you have given at the time of creating the environment variable. So my environment variable I have given as a company underscore name and dot value. Okay, so whatever value you have set to the environment variable, it will automatically come. So let me save that. Okay, and here, okay, let me click on this uh, and let me add a component here. So let me go to the custom and component and here I am setting the height as a parent height and width as a also parent width. Parent width. Okay. Now what I need to do, I want to change the company name here and here. Okay, so here let's say uh, lookup value uh, I have given. So let me write, let me copy this code and let me paste it inside a component header property. Okay. Now let's say this is a two page application. Now let's say you want to deliver the same application to the other client and the name of the company or name of that client company is ABC Limited. So what you need to do, you need to change that uh, here uh, code uh, and you need to write manually ABC Limited. But this is not a feasible solution and pow experienced Power App developer will not do like that. So they use environment variable and what they will do, they will just publish this app particularly. Let's publish this app. Okay. So my app is published. Now I want to import that same application in other environment or for other client. So let's go back to that. Okay. So just uh, go to the solution and make sure that two things are there. there. Now this is in my environment. Now what I want to do, I want to export this app and make it available to the another environment okay so let me just click on that application click on export solution and once again i am publishing it uh, if i forget to publish while saving the app okay it will take some time to publish again you know the reason is that if we do minor changes and we forget to publish that at that time uh, this step is helpful to us and click on next and i am managing i am uh, exporting it as an unmanaged solution why because i want to open it and show you that's why i am uh, exporting as an unmanaged solution okay so it's under processed so wait until it's uh, ready to download so my solution is exported successfully and ready to download so it's downloaded now what we will do we will go to the another environment and in this environment we will import that solution so click on the import 
and uh, select that solution and open that and click on next click on next now here it will ask to give a name we have set the current value to know how instead of that we are giving another name to the company that is abc limited and click on import uh, so here it is imported successfully in test environment okay and let me open this app and show you the difference now let me just change here the position is changed little bit so let me change it to zero and here you can see that here in every screen whenever the know-how was there it is replaced with abc limited okay that's why you need to set the environment variable to set the header or the name of the company in power app canvas app thank you for choosing know-how academy as your source of it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out us it has been a pleasure to share this information with you stay curious and keep learning